Howdy folks, it's your neighbor down the street. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my preparation for Stink Bug Invasion 2011. Even though it's only February, uh, I have reason to prepare early and perhaps you should take uh, heed of some of my advice if you two are battling this issue. Um, if you recall from my last Stink Bug video, uh, the invasion this year was extreme, uh, a terrifying, horrifying <laughs> increase. Uh, the first few years, I guess we're going into our fourth year, um, it was manageable uh, with my bugzooka. I have other videos here, uh, you know, which kind of just sucks them up one at the time as I cruise around, and then it was still a lot. Uh, this September was... Uh, magnitudes uh, of, you know, growth. Uh, the bugzooka was useless, uh, so I did discover that the Dawn dish soap, as uh, so many other people I'm sure have discovered, uh, mix with water, spray them, uh, that would kind of kill them. Still not really sufficient though, uh, given the amount, and plus it made the room smell like Dawn dish soap, which is not citrus fresh, it's more kind of soapy. So, you know, it, it, there's all these odiferous concerns every which way you turn with this issue. Well, and there's been a development because uh, this winter, well, previous winters, I never saw one that I can recall. Uh, once, uh, you know, the, the winters, they settled in wherever they are, uh, I, I saw nothing until uh, they came back out in spring. And then, of course, they're going outside. But this winter, they've been a little bit of an issue. Uh, and in fact, I would say it's, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, an everyday experience. And it's not just one or two, it's more like five or ten. Uh, certainly okay for the bazooka, uh, bugzooka, uh, but never had it before. Now they're here. The thing is, that, you know, they're usually, I guess, kind of slow and drowsy, maybe already on their way out, but in the last week or so, some of them have had a little spunk in them. So I've been, you know, thinking, i got to do something, and I made the first move, and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, as horrible, <laughs> I've been thinking, one thing I'm going to have to get is a mosquito net uh, for my bed. I've never had problems there. Uh, but this, uh, for the most part, but I have on two occasions seen one s sitting on the bed. Uh, and if it was either a, a nightmare or reality, but I did have, I think I woke up and one was on my arm, which I like brushed off. Uh, so I don't have the mosquito netting yet, but in order to suck these little bastards up, come the spring movement and especially... I think fall 2011, unless they suddenly come up with some kind of trap or, or something for these things, uh, is going to be horrendous. So I got <laughs> this little portable wet-dry vac. Um, and this is even like a, a, an unboxing, like it's, it's the eye bug killer or something like that. But you can see this. And here's my intention. My intention is to uh, put some uh, soapy water in the bottom here, right? And then I will use this thing to just suck these stink bugs up by the handful, by the hundreds undoubtedly. And uh, yeah, this will smell, um, but that'll be the only thing, right? Easy death, won't have to worry about it. Uh, so <laughs> that's my exciting news and uh, my exciting acquisition. I hope it works. And you know, take, the, take this uh, opportunity to, uh, I would think, plan ahead. Uh, Pittsburgh is predicted we you know we're, we're getting close to the 50 degree range even in here in February and I think 50 degrees is kind of uh, the magic number for stink bugs that, that gets them moving right so keep that in mind and be prepared and uh, 
you know, here people, uh, mis uh, we're going to have to use mosquito netting uh, maybe the rest of our lives. All right, folks, it's your neighbor down the street.